as you can see today, I'm videoing this because I should be a week's deep part. I am not actually going to be here. So I'm going to show you a lesson and I'm going to put it on the Grojo's so it's posted up somewhere and it'll be on a YouTube clip as well. So here we go. Now it's tomato seedlings. Now you guys have grown the tomato seeds. Growing the seeds is quite easy. You just put them in a pot, keep them warm and they end up growing like this. This is the perfect stage for transplanting them. However, there are some rules that must be obeyed and you've got a lot of these to do. Now this one is a beefsteak tomato. It makes no difference what sort of tomato it is. Now, you need to release some of the roots. It's better to knock the plant out, but I can just about grab a nice piece of seedlings here. Now there's one really important thing you must never do with that, and that is touch the stems. The stems are critically important to the plant. However, these seedlings are lost in a few weeks time. So the seed leaves can be touched with ease. So you end up with your seedling like that. It's not a good idea to dangle it, but I am dangling it so you can see. And I'm filling a pot full of compost. This is this dodgy compost that we got, but it should do the job for these seedlings. Stick your finger in the compost and make yourself a nice little hole. Now you're looking to put your plant in there just five mil below the soil level. And the reason is tomatoes will root on their stem. So you can put it down a bit deeper. They don't mind at all and these are a bit leggy so it would be a good idea are a bit deeper. Then when you have potted your tomatoes do not mix the varieties at all because that gets problematic later. Put all the seedlings in a nice tray like that and keep them separate. Now I have two varieties here. I have a beef steak and a small yellow sweet plum tomato. When you've done all of these, you can have a go at planting our own variety of tomato seeds. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to have been many planted. It could be that um, it's somewhere else in the polytunnel, I don't know. Um, but I would like all of these planted out with good reason, because these are what we sell and also what we grow. To get very tall. Now, we put them in the raised bed in the polytunnel, and the raised bed has strings coming from the roof. Now, the strings sit on your little plant. When you put it out in the raised bed, the string hangs down. and We wind the string slowly around the plant. So as the plant grows, it uses the string for support. We never tie the string to the plant, we just wind it. So it's a case of finding the little head of the plant and turning it round the spring, string as it grows. And then it grips on and it will go all the way to the greenhouse roof. Now this is important with tomatoes because we need it to support the trusses. Now the trusses are the bunches of the tomatoes. Now that's most important because they're too heavy for the plant. They will rip the plant to shreds. But if we wind it round the string, then it'll keep going straight up. We can tie it off to a cane, and that's the old way of doing it. However, we're not really allowed canes in school, so there you go, we use strings instead. Now, if you can do all that for me, that will be great. Um, it's Once you've done that, you can go into the big polytunnel and plant all our adult tomatoes and they need to be planted under a string line in the raised bed and that's the big raised bed now it's a bit difficult in there because there's bits of lawnmowers and everything unfortunately all my lessons this week which would have taken care of that have all been cancelled so we'll have to make do with what we can so be very careful be very kind and the one thing to remember most important is never touch the stem.
Any plant I see you, if I was here, touching the stem automatically goes in the bin because nine times out of 10 they die and they're a waste of time to keep in the greenhouse. So never touch the stem. Okay, that's today's lesson. I hope you have fun doing it and whoever's with you, I hope they have fun as well. Spence is signing out.